<laughs> Hello there folks, this is Raylius. I just want to show you guys the project I've been working on. Ever since the original Zookeeper server crashed, I've been desperate to bring back some of the cool creations I had made. Last time, I had a bat cave hidden in my sewer system which featured a working teleporter. I decided that teleportation doesn't really fit the Batman theme, so I went with Doctor Who this time. So this is my TARDIS. Don't judge me so harshly. This is the best I can do without using mods or anything of that nature. Let's take a step inside. I guess I was going for a 11th Doctor look, but it's kind of an original design. Notice if I step back out here, I'm back in Little Americana. Here's the main control panel. If we press a few buttons, pull a few levers, we'll end up somewhere, or some wind. Up here is the bedroom. If we had an Amy and Rory, this is where they would go to um, consummate their marriage. More rooms are down here. Let's see if we can find that swimming pool. What? Is this another control room? Okay, let's go through the other hallway and see where we end up at. Heh, <laughs> I guess House is playing a prank on us again. Wink wink. Let's step back out here and see where we ended up. Press the button again, and we are here. Now it's time for a behind-the-scenes look at how all this works. I didn't use any mods, but I did use creative mode to use command blocks. The nice thing about this is I could automate teleports using some redstone trickery. The command blocks in the control panel here activate a type of wireless redstone signal. So down below is the heart of the TARDIS. Hitting any control up there will remove this redstone torch. After a delay, this command block will replace the torch. In essence, it now behaves like a wireless button press. This is what I call a selection machine. I don't think anyone has made something exactly like this. It's my own design. The button press triggers the cart to move forward by one place. Once it hits the switch, it immediately triggers the line to reset all these memory circuits. Then, a delayed signal activates the memory circuit associated with the switch.
Then you can see in the back that the selection machine is one of two inputs here. The other is a command block set on a loop that checks if the player has stepped through the exit doors. Finally, it triggers the selected command block set to teleport the player to wherever you want. Now I'll show you the secret behind the endless hallways. If we go back up here, the illusion is apparent if we walk through the hall backwards. Once we hit the trap coordinates, the command block teleports you to a similar part of the hallway on the other end back by the control room. Let me deactivate the trap so you can see the fake hall. So the redstone for this is much simpler. This loop checks for any players that enter the trap on both ends of the hall. If there is a player, the next command block teleports them. It's important to use relative coordinates so the player won't notice that they've moved. Also, if you're using a 1.7 server like us, you have to make sure the hallways are facing in the same direction. In 1.8, there is an option to change the orientation of the player. I haven't tried it myself, so I don't know how successful that would be. Okay, that's it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Post any questions you have in the comments. Thanks!